Hi, everybody. Welcome to Gen Friends. I'm Sherry Hudson Passa, your host. And with me tonight, we have Terry O'Connell, who is the executive director of the In Depth Genealogist. Hi, Terry. Hey, Sherry. How are you doing? I'm so good. I'm glad to have you here. And we've got Mary Kircherati from NKR Genealogy. Hey, Mary. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Terry. <laughs> 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 it's the Mary Terry Sherry show <laughs> once again. Well, I am so excited because season four of Relative Race has Yay! begun. As you can see from my shirt, I have my bracelets on in no particular order because we have just started. You know, no no uh, favorites have been picked yet. So um, we are going to talk about the first episode, which aired on Sunday night, September sixteenth. And I thought it might be a good idea for anybody that maybe hasn't watched the show to kind of remind everybody what the show is all about. <laughs> so um, there are four teams, red, blue, green, and black. They've each taken a DNA test and they have relatives that they are finding around the country. They each have an allotted time. So they, you know, they're all going to different places in the country and they have a specific amount of time they have to get there. They have to get there. They have to take a selfie of the sign, the city sign to prove that they made it there. They have to meet their relative and do a challenge. Things are a little bit different this year. Um, they've changed some of the rules around, but that's in uh, essence how they um, how they work the race. And the team that gets there in the least amount of time is the uh, winning team for the night. And they get to choose between a game uh, benefit, which is good for the next day, or they can choose a benefit for day 10 because whoever wins on day 10 gets $50,000. <laughs> so they have to weigh, you know, where they are in the race and what would be more beneficial for them. So that's kind of relative race in the nutshell. Did I miss anything? No, I think you hit it very well. Did I, did I, did I do it? All right. So, um, and uh, real quick, we're going to run over the team since we're just getting started with the season. So we've got the blue team and they are Tiffany and Josh Lewis and they are from LA. And Josh is looking for his information on his biological father. Um, he has no idea, no information about his uh, biological father. So that was, um, he said he wants to feel whole. And that's his reason for coming on the race. And then we've got Team Red. And they are um, Mike and Austin Brown. And this is a father and daughter. So this should be a good a good uh, <laughs> combination <laughs> running right the race. And um and Michael's looking for his dad as well. He was adopted and always told he was Polish. <laughs> but he says, you know, <laughs> you look in the mirror. I'm not exactly yeah. Polish. You know? <laughs> And they are from Charleston, South Carolina. So mm, I've got a little, you know, lean towards my South Carolina people. So, um, but it was interesting because his, his daughter said, I think my dad's life will be forever changed after this race. And, you know, with the other seasons that we've had, we can guarantee, can't we, ladies, that that's what's going to happen. <laughs> yes, totally. Exactly. Green team is Paris and Precious Anderson, and they're a married couple. And um, Precious. No, no. Are they married? Mm -hmm. Am I wrong? Oh, yes. Yeah, sure. No, you're right. Okay, you're okay. Right. Sorry. It's okay. Sorry. Sorry. You know, yeah, totally. Half the time yeah. I'm, yeah, yeah. I, I make yeah. mistakes yeah, all no, the time. you're right. Yeah, um, sorry. <laughs> Precious grew up in foster care and was adopted when she was seven. So she is looking for family. So that's that's why she wanted to come on the race. And they're from Akron, Ohio. And then we've got the black team, which I can already tell is going to be our comedy relief. Yeah. <laughs> this season. This is a brother sister team, which I think is going to be a hoot. They are um, Joe and Janika, and they are from Ohio as well. And uh, they just want to find people and they want um, their relatives to tell them their story, which I think is really interesting. And they are filmmakers, which I think is going to be a, an interesting kind of um, twist on this because they're going to come probably at their ancestors and I mean, at their relatives and ask them stories and, and things like that, that maybe others might not have thought of because they want to, they're probably thinking in their head of stories that they can tell. So, um, and the funny thing uh, that Joe said that he did not uh, choose his hair, his hair chose him. <laughs> Which well, was funny. He's got some hair. He's got some hair. <laughs> so, anyway. So I've talked too much. I have talked too much. Who wants to take it from there? They they um, met in the stadium and it was time to get going. Well, one of the things I really like the change, um, they may, they've they tweaked the format a little bit every year. Mm -hmm. And um, not only do they have to take a city selfie, 
but they used to have to take a selfie with their relatives. And it was always to me very off-putting. Wait, wait, I want to talk to you, but I need your picture, our picture first. And, and, and so, you know, and it was kind of silly because it's like the crew was following them. They know they're there. Mm -hmm. Just, just stop it. You know? Mm -hmm. So, so now just as soon as the car, they turn the engine off the car or whatever. Yeah. Um, clock stopped. The clock stopped. And I really like that. So it just, um, it, it's a much more welcoming uh, I agree. end to the, I agree. the car trip. I, I agree. And I liked the fact, too, that instead of when they got to the town, instead of a challenge in the town before they found their relative, they actually went with them and did something that they like to do with them. And so I thought that was a little bit more of a bonding experience, too. Although... I, I, I zoom back over it again. Team Red didn't do anything, but maybe it's because of their story, which we'll get to in a minute. Maybe they did, but their story no. was they, so compelling. They done something with the relatives. No, no, no. They did. They did something that their their relative liked to do, but the relative wasn't there. They hadn't found them yet. Do you see what I'm saying? So, like when no, when the, the relatives would take them someplace. Yeah, to, a lot of times. So, so yeah. that's kind yeah. of what I, yeah. what that was. I think they didn't do the challenge when they got to town last night, because they'd already done it in the stadium. That was the impression yeah. I got. Well, we'll it see could what be it looks too, like next week. They, they, they were doing two challenges. They were doing one, and then they would then do... everybody did, yeah. And then yeah. everybody did it, and then they would do a different challenge before they could yeah. make it. That's the challenge I was talking about. So, yeah. but who it knows? It could be that it was the opening night, and things yeah. would be different next week, and yeah. they could yeah. still be taking the selfies. Who knows? Exactly. We Things could be different. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, yeah. So they started at the BBT, BB&T Stadium at Wake Forest. And it was a Omni Sports game. And they, each team had to go up and they had four trivia ta trivia tables. And they had, to, they had to read the question and answer it. And if they got it right, they got the sports equipment. And then they had to take the sports equipment out to the field. <laughs> they had to use the sports equipment to hit the ball as close as yeah. they could get it yeah. to the goalpost. <laughs> yeah, so they could kick the field goal. And, and the more pieces of equipment yeah. they had, the further down the field they could get and closer to the goalposts. Oh, my. <laughs> funnier than watching them use the cue stick on the grass laying down. The cue stick. <laughs> oh, my, oh, my gosh. That was hysterical. And trying to kick the ball. I've never seen people. I mean, I've never tried to kick a ball, so I probably couldn't have yeah. done any better. Yeah. But what's funny is Team Black goes, and the one thing we thought was, please don't let there be anything to do with football. <laughs> <laughs> and that was their very first challenge. And they were they were um, challenged when it came yes, to kicking yeah. the ball. I didn't think they were ever going to make it. And I, always, I wonder if somebody helped them do that at the end so they could keep going because he didn't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, his sister got it through at the end. So the first team, they had things like they had a croquet sat there. They had the badminton. And he goes, I've got to hit that little birdie thingy. <laughs> you know, it was just really funny. Um, but yeah, they, that wasn't, that was a lot of challenge to get their equipment, yeah. their, their ball down to the end and get it close enough. And if they missed, they had to go back and start all over again. So time is just ticking for all these teams, just ticking, ticking, ticking. So, um, yeah, that was that was a, <laughs> that was a tough. I think that was a tough, and it got a lot of them frustrated. I think just just from the get go. Um, but um, team, uh, which one was first? Team it was Blue team got it Blue. first. Team Blue got it first. That's yeah. right. Team Blue got it first. And no, it was, it was team, it was blue, green, red, and then black. Uh, that's, that's how they got there. And so they got their keys, they ran to their car, and they had a backpack. And so they're showing what's in the backpack. And of course, in the backpack is their flip phone. Because remember, they have to turn in their cell phones, which is very hard. <laughs> and I didn't think, I didn't think Joe from Team Black was going to. Yeah. His sister had to go. He was having it on, like looking at her. Yeah. Yeah, do I really? And everybody's just shaking their head like they're really going to take our phones yeah. away from us, you know? So they're taking out their flip phones and getting them set up. And, and, they, and they had maps. And what I didn't realize is they have a map for each of the 50 states. Yeah, I didn't realize that either. So it's not like they get any hint of where they may be going. Yeah. <laughs> they have all these maps. So I thought that was really kind of funny. Um, so they get their, their phones out and they're ready to go and they get their first text from Dan. Dan, Dan, Dan. <laughs> 
change in rules on them right from the beginning. And they cannot, as in seasons past, go to a police station or to a fire station. But to ask for directions, nor, nor can they have their relatives drive them out and get them out of the neighborhood and on and pointed to the next destination. But did you notice that they still were asking the police officer because they it wasn't weren't the they weren't at the station. Right. Yeah. So I'm wondering if <laughs> the next night Dan's having the next day Dan's having to say women in general, <laughs> no police officers. I was waiting for some kind of penalty for that. I yeah. wondered, but they probably had to go back and say, "No, we told him station." Yep. Yeah, because I wondered about that because I kept going, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. And then, of course, Team Black can't get, even get out of the stadium. He couldn't get the car started. Yeah. A little funny. And then he couldn't figure out how to get out. And he asked this guy, you know, how do I get out of here? And then he realizes, well, we're out of here, but I don't know how to get to the freeway. So I had to go back around. And he asked the same guy, how do I get to the freeway? And they were on the right road to get to the freeway. But the guy says, if you come back around, I'm not going to be as nice. <laughs> right. That was funny. That was really funny. Mm -hmm. So anyway, um, yeah. So they <laughs> off on the rain, ro uh, race they were going and the trash talk, talk starts. <laughs> yeah. Boy, they, uh, blue team and red team are um, like that. Yeah. I hope, I hope it's just you know, for seems the aggressive though, they I mean, are even in their talk, like, like 15 minutes is un it's unacceptable. Yeah. 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 There's, you know, that's, I, I think too, a lot of times as they, as they meet together at the end and get to know each other better, I think a lot of that kind of and just it kind of plays itself out and they start um, seeing what's important for the other teams and they're figuring out what's important of the, the relatives that they're meeting. Mm -hmm. And their focus is getting a little, although they, everybody wants to win, their focus starts turning a little bit more to, wow, this is a wonderful experience meeting these people yeah. and, and learning about what the, the, the competitors are mm -hmm. doing. Um, so um, I got I got my cheat notes here because I'm never going to remember all this. So the blue team ends up going to Fayetteville, North Carolina. That's where they were headed. And they had a really short route i mean it, they only had like a two-hour drive so sometimes i wonder if those teams are a little bit ahead of the game because they're not as tired when they That's get there. kind of what i was thinking yeah, yeah two hours versus One team had like 10 hours yeah yeah two teams yeah. actually were, were pretty close to one was like 10 and the other was nine and a half. Right, right. So, um, yeah, so they were going to Fayetteville, North Carolina. And uh, and when they got there, they met Tiffany's cousin. Uh, apparently, she's got a Filipino side. And this was a cousin on her Filipino side. And uh, so they, uh, her husband is on uh, Fort Bragg. No, no. Was yeah, it Fort yeah. Bragg? Or, was it Fort Bragg? Yeah, Fort Bragg. That's right. And he was trying, and as they were driving in, he was trying to avoid. <laughs> He wow. kept seeing all the signs for poor Brack and he kept trying to avoid them when that's exactly where they were supposed to be. So they had to get signed in and they took them to, because uh, he's a paratrooper, and so they took them to one of the, I guess maybe it's one of their training towers and they had to jump. And I guess Tiffany's afraid of heights. <laughs> so her husband finally had to say, you either jump or I'm going to push you. <laughs> Which I was like, oh my gosh. But she said, he knows how to get me doing things that I, you know, don't want to do. And she seemed to be fine afterwards, so she got it done. But <laughs> yeah, she she lived through it, and everything was okay. The green team went to um, Hartville, Alabama, and I loved <laughs> I loved the cousin that they met there. He was a farmer, and I loved his accent. I just absolutely <laughs> loved that that accent. And so they um, went and drove a tractor, and they said, as city people, you know, that's something that they. Mm -hmm. you know, just something different that they don't they don't get to do. Um, and then let's see, Red went to New London, Connecticut, and they didn't show them doing anything other than sitting around the table. And I think it's because the this is the story. Does anybody want to take off of that story? So the father didn't know his like you said earlier he didn't know his father he was told he was polish growing up it was obviously he's an african-american man mm -hmm. um, and he said he knew that growing up he goes well, you could look in the mirror and you knew it um so he met his niece 
He found out he had three brothers, yeah. I think three sisters, mm -hmm. and that his father had passed uh, a long time ago. Right. Ago. Right. Um, I think the girl said she was seven. The niece. So, yeah, I think so. Passed. Right. I think so. Mm -hmm. And it was really. No, I think it was when her dad was seven. Oh, she oh maybe. She never even oh, knew yes. her grandfather. Yeah, you're absolutely right. You're right. Mm -hmm. You're right. Um, and he, she really had a tragic story to tell him. Um, I guess the grandfather had the affa an affair. The grandmother filed divorce just before it was finalized. The grandfather murdered the grandmother and then killed himself. Yeah, just just tragic. I can't even Very tragic. I can't even imagine. And to and to know you've got cameras on you, mm -hmm. you know, filming oh, this. Well, and the niece, I, I think she even said, "Don't ask that." But he really wanted to know. Yeah. Um, but, and, and she, but she ended it very well, telling him, even mm -hmm. though this tragedy happened in our family, we have a very loving family, mm -hmm. and all of his children loved them. They never said they didn't wake up in a happy mood growing up in that house. Yeah. And they all still tell wonderful stories of this father. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, that in itself is just amazing to see yeah. how strong that family is. Yeah. And, yeah. and he says, I want to look in all their eyes and tell them hi. I was like, oh. Yeah. So, yeah, I yeah. think this is going to be another heart wrenching season already. I really yeah. do. I really do. I think we've got the comedy and we've got, <laughs> and we've got the tear jerkers, you know, coming up, which really the combination makes a, such a great season because you don't want nothing but tear jerkers. You want some fun. Right. Otherwise, we're going to cry through the whole thing. Or the, uh, yeah, well, you know exactly. So Team Black, <laughs> Team Black ends up with their their cousins, and <laughs> poor Team Black. <laughs> they get there, they're you know they're um, hitting it off really well with their cousins, and they said, "Come on, we're going to take you somewhere." And they took them to a gym, a CrossFit gym. <laughs> and you got now, you got to remember, <laughs> this is the team that didn't do so well in the first challenge. <laughs> because they're a little bit sports challenged yeah. <laughs> and they have to do this crossfit but they look like they were doing great and then at the end they said and now we're ninjas, <laughs> so, yeah. ninjas. Now we're ninjas so now they have a they have a, a, um, a leg up on everybody else but where did they sleep in I tents loved, yes <laughs> but but it wasn't that they put them in tents they were having a cousin's camp out they were all in tents it was great <laughs> I think that's that was yeah. so well, fun. That's a good bonding. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. They're always going to remember that. That is going to be so much fun. It's not so like bad. you know we're putting you outside of the tent while we go inside, and that's right. happened on other seats. Right. Joe is not pleased. Where am I going to put my clothes? Where Where will my hair product go? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Where's his hairspray? He can't. You know. Yeah. So, but yeah. So I thought that was really really funny. Um. So they seem to really hit it off really well with those cousins. Yeah. And and as the show was going off, you know, they do some of those little um. They make their own videos. So make sure. Everybody who's watching, you know, watch it and then go to also go to BYUTV.org and a lot of those um, uh, after the show videos that they make, they, they put on those too because they have a blog and, and they'll have extra stuff on there. But um, they were all in, they were all in the one tent because he said, this is really cool. And they all, they're all right there in that tent. So um, I think they had a really, really good time with that. Um, so then it was the time that none of us really like and that's the results because <laughs> i never want anybody to uh get the strike and and have to go home so mary you want to tell us about the results well it, um and and black team did have such a um a hard time getting through the challenge that they were quite a bit over time they were the longest ones over the time mm -hmm. they also they're the ones that had to go all the way to Connecticut or no, no, maybe no, they, they were, were Virginia. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. were Virginia. I yeah. Think, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it wasn't, but, they didn't have that but, long. But still, I mean, they, they allow for that in their time. Yeah. So. Yeah. 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 But, um, so, I mean, it was not unexpected. Right. Um, but, they, but it was they, interesting. I mean, they, you know, Dan was starting to say, and the team that went over there is by the least amount. And, um, the guy from blue team is like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and he said it was green team, and, uh, and the guy from blue team was mad. Yes, he was. Uh, Fifteen minutes is unacceptable. 
It's yeah. unacceptable. And uh, you can tell he's a, he's a big competitor. He's a big yeah, competitor, yeah, you know. Yeah. And so I, I'm i imagining he'll soften up as the race yeah. goes on. I'm, I'm imagining he'll soften up. So, yeah, Green Team came in first place. And they chose. They chose the Day 10 benefit. And Which, it was a flag. Flag. So <laughs> yeah. What's that all about? So. That's gonna do. <laughs> yeah. 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 So it's it's it'll have something to do with the I guess the last challenge of the yeah. last of day yeah. ten, and maybe who has the most flags? I I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So. Last year was the coin, and you yeah. had to get the coin. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see just, what that just, flag's all about. But yeah. Yeah. And 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 the different places that they go. So I'm really excited. And like I said, I don't have. I don't have a favorite team yet. Um, I, you know, I'm glad we've got somebody from Charleston. Woo! <laughs> South Carolina proud, South Carolina strong. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, and we've got the black team who um, I'm loving just for their, their. Uh, a comic funny. relief. Oh my gosh, <laughs> funny. And is, is he going to be able to keep his hair like that for 10 days? <laughs> <laughs> That's my right, question. He's not going to have that time in the morning. No. I'll rat it up. And exactly. Yeah. So that's going to be a baseball hat soon. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's going to be funny to see what his hair looks like by day 10. But, um, and then we've got these amazing stories, you know, with the other three teams. So mm -hmm. I think this is going to be a really good season. I hope Dan quits changing rules on them. <laughs> so, I know, right? <laughs> Stay out of it, Dan. <laughs> Let them race. <laughs> Let them race. So I am so happy that the race is back on. Me and uh, yeah, yeah. Yes. But it's so hard to wait for the next week to see what's going to happen. So anyway, we are very happy that you joined us tonight on Gen Friends as we have talked about season four episode one of relative race and we hope you continue to uh to join us as we discuss the season as it goes uh forward and we'd love to hear what you're thinking about it so um leave a comment let us know how you're feeling about this season and uh we'll see you next time for gen friends okay. good night everybody bye bye